Hi everyone, when I think of spring and it's right around the corner, I hope, I think of daffodils. Spellbinders Glimmer of the Month Daffodil Spray is absolutely gorgeous. To help it really pop, I've used a simple blackout technique. The daffodil spray is accompanied with two sentiments that have coordinating dyes. I've already foiled the daffodil spray in gold on white cardstock and now I'm doing the sentiment again in gold but on black cardstock. The hot foil plate is placed face up on the platform. The shiny side of the foil is placed face down on top of the foil plate and then the cardstock. And the two shims are placed on top. I'm just waiting for the middle light to turn green and then I know it's time for me to hit the timer button. And there we go, the green light is flashing and I'll just wait for it to go solid. The platform has been removed from the die cutter. I removed this platform from the Glimmer Hot Foil Machine and then roll it slowly through the die cutter. I'll pop the platform back in and there is the result. Not in this case, but sometimes there can be a little bit of overfoiling, especially in those little openings on the letters. When that happens, a light buffing with a microfiber cloth often resolves the issue. I'll use some low tack tape to hold the coordinating die in place, and I'll die cut the sentiment and also some black sheet foam. The foil daffodil spray will be Copic colored. The petals will be predominantly yellow and the trumpet a peachy tone. I'll add a little bit of that peach YR61 at the base of each of the petals before I start working in the yellow. My deepest yellow Y08 will be applied to the base of the petal going over the peach and then feathering it out. I'll then continue on with my mid-tone Y06. Slightly overlap it with the edge of the darker yellow. The feathering technique allows the two to blend seamlessly. At the tips of the petals, I make sure to leave some white space to put in some highlights using the lightest yellow, which is Y02. I find that with these lighter colors, the alcohol ink does not diminish the shine of the foil. If I was working with darker tones, I sometimes will take a colorless blender and run it over the foil to lift any of the ink that is sitting on top. The trumpet will be done in predominantly peach tones. YR65, I'll be using the YR61 that was used at the base of the flower petals, and then finishing off with YR31 that has some yellow tones to it. I'll start at the base of the trumpet and the inside of the cup with my darkest tone, the YR65. I'll feather in the YR61 and finish up with 31. I wanted the leaves to be a soft and pretty shade of green, so I'm using G12-14, but I've also introduced a blue-green 32. The darkest green, G14, is placed at the base of the leaf and along the left-hand side. I'll then continue right next to it with the mid-tone, which is the G12, and then finish off with the highlight, which is the BG32. It's a little bit tricky feathering the ink when working on a narrow image. I just do a little scrubbing motion where I want to blend the two colors together. I'm die cutting the panel with one of the dies from Essential Stylish Ovals. For the blackout technique, the background has been colored with special black. That is Copic Marker 110. In the past for this technique, I have used Copic 100. This is a nice solid black. However, it does leave some marker streaks and I found that I had to do a couple of coats. That is not the case with this marker, so it is a good investment if you want to try this out. I love contrast and I really love how those yellow daffodils just jump off this panel. 
This panel is going to have some dimension and I don't want that white edge to show. I'll run the nib of the marker along the edge of the panel. A simple and easy process that makes a big difference to the overall appearance when the card is completed. The next largest consecutive die in the Essential Stylish Ovals die set was used to cut gold foil cardstock. It's adhered to an A2 size top folding black card base. I've used the same die that was used to cut the oval Copic colored panel to cut black sheet foam. The foam back panel is centered onto the gold foil oval die cut. The gold foiled sentiment is adhered to the black foam die cut and then it's adhered to the card front. This card is embellished with lots of peach opalescent sequins. They're finished off with Nouveau Crystal Drops Morning Dew. This is kind of a habit for me. When the drops dry, they are clear, giving the sequins a jewel-like appearance. And that wraps up this card featuring Spellbinder's Glimmer of the Month, Daffodil Spray. For many of us who live in climates where we anxiously await spring, these daffodils are certainly a welcome delight. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, I appreciate your visit.